Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for how to make a custom village. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is creating four new blocks. Uh, this is going to be a path north, east, south, and west. Uh, these blocks are going to basically handle the path generation properties. So once you get these basic blocks, they're basically the same thing as this. So once you have that all set up, then um, we'll be able to move on. So if you need to pause, pause it now, and um, then we'll carry on. All right, so now we're in game, and I already created all the paths uh, that we'll need over here, so I'll explain all that in just a second. Uh, before we get started on the path part, though, I wanted to make a small announcement of something that I foresaw, uh, basically, um, foresee happening as a potential problem. Now because these blocks are 13 by 13 and paths, um, there's uh, an issue where if you were to just design the path itself, it could have uh, gaps between it. So the easiest way to make ensure that the um, structures don't leave any gaps after they get generated is to basically keep the same size of um, same size for basically making a grid pattern. So, um, for example, the if we were to spawn a structure on this particular path, it would be spawning on this side here. So this path is actually 13 by 13, so it will be spawning it next to the 13 by 13 for a 13 by 13. With that being said, these smaller structures uh, might need to be expanded. Um, for example, I've basically come over here and uh, just cloned that particular thing. To clone something, you can go clone and then the coordinates. Uh, you can actually um, look at a block when you're doing it and you can type the press tab for the coordinates and then you would go to the other corner and do that and then this would be your pasting corner. And um, you can basically just expand the the uh, train around the actual structure to make it 13 by 13. You can still use the structure, it just needs to be 13 by 13 for better results. So once that's all done, um, once all that's done, what you're gonna need is to create your paths. And um, there is quite a bit of them. So there's different directions as well as different types of intersections and other things as well. So the reason why we're doubling up on these is because we're going to need to take in consideration of the direction that it's being generated from. So uh, for example, if we were to generate it from this side, uh, say it's generating from this side, then we want to expand the generation this way. But uh, we don't want it to basically go back and start generating it behind itself. So we actually had to make two paths that can determine what direction it's generating from. For example, this one would be facing generating this way, and this one would be generating this way. Uh, these two parts on these two intersections would be expanding the actual village. So that's why there's so many of them, and that's why there's um, different models and stuff like that. For um, Basically generating the structure, uh, I'll get into that in just a second, but uh, for expanding the paths, what we want to do is go down to the four new blocks that we added. We want to grab each and each of them, and uh, we're going to basically look at our coordinates, that or not our coordinates, the direction right on the side there it says um, under the chunk. It says facing, and then it says what direction. So if we face this way, it says south. If we face that way, it says west. If that way, it says north. And that way, it says east. So if we're going this way, we're facing east. So we want it to east path type this direction. But if we want it to go backwards, then we want it to go west. So this will be west, that will be east. We don't need a block on this side because it's generating from this side. So that's fine. And again, this is north, so what we want to do is we want to place one on north, and then we want to place one on south. 
So you want to do that for all your your different um, directions. Uh, always have one direction that it's generating from. So for example, this uh, intersection here, if we were to uh, quickly look at some signs I placed down, uh, it says east. So it's generating from the east. So we want it to be able to generate these two directions, which is north and south. So north is facing this way and south is on this side. And you just want to kind of per keep uh, designing it that kind of system. And then uh, for the larger structures, for example, these ones here, um, you're going to want to um, basically take in consideration of all three directions. So this is east, south, and west because it's generating from the north. See, north. And uh, other than that, I did create a simplified version just to keep track of the um, the actual shape of the uh, the path block. I used I for straight blocks, L for turns, uh, T's for three ways, and X's for four ways. So you can kind of use that as a abbreviated way, abbreviated way to name your structures. Now. Um, now for the last and most important part of it, uh, this particular episode, uh, what we want to do is make sure that we can actually spawn structures on say these parts here. So if we go and just grab a 13 by 13 version, I'm sure we'll find one that's structure path or structure filler. So 13 by 13, that will do uh, north, south, uh, east, and west. So if we um, look at our axis, we want to make sure that when we place the block, it's the right block that we're placing, and that um, the axis is always on the side that uh, we're basically placing the structure. So for example, uh, we're facing south this way, so we want to place a south block, and we want to place it right here. And for the uh, north side, we want to place a north one right here. So basically what that will do is it'll generate a structure on either side of these, um, uh, of these, uh, of this path. So uh, you might even want to take it a step further and um, figure out where the doors are. I think it's uh, this particular one here. So you might want to calculate where you need to put your extension of your actual paths for your doors and stuff. It's roughly around here somewhere. So you can expand your path out just a little bit and um, then it'll connect to your doors and stuff as well. So uh, that's just some tips. Um, once you get all that all set up, then uh, we can move on to uh, city center blocks and filler blocks next episode. But other than that, um, hopefully you guys uh, found this uh, tutorial useful. If you have any questions, again, just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to explain. And um, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.